Hello everybody. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to calculate the mean, median, and mode measures of central tendency using the Python programming language and the SPIDER integrated development environment. Let's do a quick review of mean, median, and mode. The mean is the arithmetic mean and that is all of the numbers in the data set added together and then divided by the number of elements in the data set. The median is the number in the middle of the data set and if there's two numbers in the middle then the median is the arithmetic mean of those two numbers and the mode is the value that occurs most often and for the mean we'll be using a data set of drive speeds using miles per hour for the median we'll be using house prices and for the mode we'll be using height in inches okay and we've just created variables for each of these and assigned a list or an array however you like to think of that to these variables okay so the first thing we want to do to make these calculations is we need to import some extensions so let's import scipy and let's also import the stats portion of that and just access that with the with the dot and then we need to import numpy and let's import statistics and we don't need all of these extensions but as you can see we're going to show you a couple different ways to calculate each of these measures of central tendency so that's why we've pulled all these in. So the first thing we want to do is let's calculate the mean using NumPy and let's create a variable. Title that mean one. And we're gonna type out NumPy and then we're gonna access the mean function and then we're going to plug in our data set of drive times. And a little side note, if you start to type out something using the Spider IDE and you hit the tab button, it'll do an autocomplete. And if there's more than one option for that, it'll give you a list. And then you can just choose from that list. And that can be a little bit quicker at times. Okay, so now let's go ahead and print this out to the console. Now we'll go over to our IPython console here and put our cursor in and this is where we'll expect to see our answer and then we can go up here to our toolbar and you want to click on this run file or play button and this will print out our answer. Okay so we get an answer of 64.375 that is the mean of this data set here. Okay. Now let's do this another way. Let's create another variable and assign statistics. Let's access the mean method. Let's plug in our data set. And let's print this out to the console. and we should get the same answer and we do. So the mean for this data set is 64.375 and you can see we've gotten the same answer just in two slightly different ways. One using NumPy and one using statistics. Okay, so now let's do the median. Here we have our list of house prices Let's create our variable, median1, type out numpy, let's access the median function and plug in our data set. Let's print this out to the console. And you can see we get an answer of 115,000. And you can see that's right in the middle. 
because there's one, two, three, four values to the left and one, two, three, four values to the right. Now, if you took off this last house price, let's see here, then that would be one, two, three, these two values here, 110,000 and 115,000, because there's three values to the left of these two values and three values to the right. So in order to get the median here, it would just take the arithmetic mean of 110,000 and 115,000. Now let's, let's see what that is real quick. I'm going to go over here to our console and just kind of play around here real quick. Let's add those together. 110,000 plus 115,000. Let's put those in brackets and divide that by 2 we get 112,500. So let's go back over to our IPython console and let's run this. And this time we should get 112,000 or whatever we got before, let's see. 112,500. Let's run this and that's what we get, okay? So just note the slight difference in how median is calculated depending on whether there are even number of elements in the list or an odd number. Okay, now let's go ahead and show you another way to do this. Slightly different way. Let's create our variable median2. Type out statistics. Let's access our median function and let's plug in our data set of house prices. Print this out. Okay, and we get the same answer. 112,500, 112,500. Again, just same, same thing, essentially, but just a slightly different way to do it. One using NumPy and one using statistics. Okay. So now, let's calculate the mode. Let's create our variable, mode1. Let's type out statistics. Let's access our mode function and pass in our data set. Plug in our data set of height in inches. And let's print this. Okay, and we get the answer of 70, and we can see 70 occurs four times, everything else occurs, uh, let's see, 65 occurs once, 66 occurs twice, 67, 68, 67 once, 68 twice, 69 once, so you can see 70 is clearly the, the most occurring, and that would be your mode. Now this last way to calculate the mode gives you some extra information. It's kind of cool, so let's show you how to do this. Let's create a variable mode 2. Type scipy. And let's see, I, I believe we need to add this. Let's add the stats to that. Now let's access our mode from here. And let's plug in our height in inches data set. Let's print this out to the console. And we get the same answer for the mode, which is 70. But it gives us a little extra information, which is kind of cool. We can see that it occurs five times. I might, have, I might have said four before, but it's five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now if we take one out and rerun this, 
you should see this array count or this list count change to four. Now it's five, let's run it again. And you can see it changes appropriately. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial on the mean, median, and mode measures of central tendency. We'll be doing many more Python tutorials coming up here in the near future. Please join us for those, and we'll see you next time.